Carolina Red Cross sent an emergency response vehicles and volunteers to Louisiana today to assist Hurricane Laura recovery. News 2's Danielle Hinsley spoke to volunteers who are currently there assessing damage and supporting impacted families. Nearly 30 volunteers from across the state, 10 from the Charleston area, are on the ground in Louisiana and Texas, and that number is growing daily. Volunteers like Charleston native William Hurtis are supporting Hurricane Laura relief efforts by assessing damages, assisting in shelters, and delivering essentials like water. Now, we are seeing a significant amount of damage. Um, it's surprising that there are some homes that are not affected, uh, but for the vast majority of the communities that we've been in around Westlake, um, every home, uh, the majority of homes have been, have been affected. Damage includes downed trees, wind damage, and flooding. But Hurtis says families are still grateful. Uh, the amount of resources that are coming in from tree companies to power companies to um, other just people from Texas that we have met bringing resources to this community um, is really surprising. The South Carolina Red Cross will continue to send volunteers to support Louisiana and Texas as long as there is a need, according to Ben Williamson with the Red Cross. Tens of thousands of people are without electricity, and there's been some people that have said it would be weeks before those electricity comes back on. So this is going to be a very long recovery, um, and the Red Cross is going to be there, and, and we're going to be there, you know, I would imagine, for, for quite some time. If you want to get involved, the Red Cross is in need of volunteers, monetary donations, and blood donations, as there is now a greater need along the Gulf. Reporting in Charleston, I'm Danielle Hensley. Count on two.